There's many different ways to resize multiple photos. I'm going to show you two ways using Mac Preview that are the easiest, fastest, and really accomplish pretty much everything I need to on a regular basis. One thing to keep in mind though is not all photos are going to be the same size. So when you're resizing a group of them, different sizes will be smaller than other sizes. This doesn't just resize and automatically make them all the exact same size because for example, this one here, it has a lot of information here, but it's 1024 by 683, okay? But then when I take the rose one here, that one is 1024 by 917. So these are going to resize differently, but it's still okay. Uh, what I like to use this for especially is if I'm emailing photos or showing photos to friends on Facebook Messenger this way, they're not that large of a size, which means that they won't upload for a long period of time. So in order to do this, all you have to do is left click on your mouse and drag, keep your uh, thumb down and drag down so you can highlight all of the photos. Once they've been highlighted, you can right click and then left click on open, or if you want to go to open with and then left click on preview. They'll both do the same. Uh, if preview is your default. So, and now once that's up, you can see all the photos here. All you have to do is either hold down the command key and tap A to select them all. But if you want the roundabout route, you can simply go to edit up here in preview and then left click on select all. Now, sometimes you don't see preview up here. Sometimes you'll see finder and that's because Mac isn't really selected your desktop. You may have clicked on your desktop. So go back to your uh, preview and then left click on that and you'll see that this comes back up. So again, just edit, select all, we see that they're all selected. And then after that, simply go to tools, adjust size, and this is where the magic happens. You have two options. If you know what you want the width to be and you want the height to be scaled proportionately, then great. I like to do percentages myself, just that's me. And you got to make sure that scale proportionally is going to be um, it check marked. Otherwise, something that is too long might get stretched. You might have that stretch look. So for width, I'm going to take this down to, say, 70%. Now, one thing I want before I press OK is I want you to take a look at where the cat photo is right now. And now watch this. Once I left click on OK, you see how much smaller it's become. One thing to keep in mind this isn't representative of how that photo truly is. All this is is showing you how big the photo was for 100% down to 70%. This is basically a representation of how much we've shrunk it, not a representation of its new true size. So I'm now going to go to File and Save, and that saves to all six images. So now all six images are down by 70%. But if I double click on cat, well, actually it's already in here. So I'm going to go to preview and left click on quick preview. Now let's double click on cat. And you see it's pretty much the same size the preview showed. But, you know, I can stretch it up and not lose a significant amount of detail, depending on your needs again. So if I go to each one of them, we should find that the width is the same. So 717. Great, let's check this one out. 717. And you can see that both of these were the same width and height beforehand because they have the exact same width and height afterwards. But when I go here, there you go, there's your difference. 717 by 642. Now, I'm going to just show you one more time, but we're gonna do it by um, pixels and not by percentage. So once again, I'm left clicking and holding so I can highlight all the images. I right click and then I either go to open with and then select preview or I go to open and I can go to open because preview is set as my default. Uh, but so I'm just going to go left click on open. They're back up again and now let's uh, let's shrink them some more. So I'm going to go up to uh, preview up here, go to edit, select all, then go to tools, adjust size, and now instead of percentage, I'm going to change it to pixels. But you see all these other options. I'm not going to show these today. It's great. You should play around. So I'm going to go to pixels. 
and it's at 717. Let's actually be dramatic here. Let's take it down to 100. And it even tells you here, you know, it's going to shrink it down to 13.9%. And it's even going to tell you the size of the file. This is very important because if you're going to upload any file to Facebook or email a file, as far as photos go, it's good to keep it at around one megabyte per photo if you have 10 or less photos. And I like to keep it at 500 KB or kilobytes, which is half of a megabyte, if it's um, going to be like, say, 20 photos. And so now that we've got it to 100 pixels, not percentages, pixels, I'm going to click OK. And that got really small. So let's go up to File and Save. And that saves all of them. And now I'm just going to go to Preview and Quit. And we're going to see what these photos look like now. So we can tell these are way smaller, but you can also see the ones that shared the same dimensions. Even the flower doesn't look that different, but when compared to the other one, you can see that there's some width differences. And that's it. That's all you have to do.